Now the chat arrives on the scene, goes off the ground, Wingard, it's bouncing, it's rolling, it's home! Oh, Wingard's having an afternoon at the MCG! Oh. He his way through anyway, Chad. He's unstoppable at the moment. He's kicked three alongside 17 and playing one of his better, if not his best, game good in the battle, brown and battle. gold. He reached in to keep it in the area. He gave it virtually to Wingard, and he's had another assist, the big guy. Meek, Marshall. Saints know they've got a game on their hands now. Wingard! Brilliant moment from Wingard! Also on the intercept on Newcomb. But straight back to their tackling True. best, the Hawks. Boston Nash, Morrison, the most delicate of operations. Wingard. We're talking about resurrections. This, this guy has looked like a, an elite half forward again to us. Which was to bring it back through the middle if you can. Bailey Dale, who gains more metres than anyone. Got a big injury concern behind play. Chad Wingard's down at the moment. Doctors run out. I'll keep you updated. Okay, thank you, Dicko. He was just running, running past. He can't even put pressure on the ankle, as you can see there. So straight away, down the Achilles or something, Dicko. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, um, who raises? Which one should I chuck in? Just some heel raises. Um, Put them in the bottom of my shoe because boots have less, uh, I suppose, add that much to that. Takes a little bit of weight off, the, off your calves and obviously mine's a little bit weaker at the moment. Yeah, just show, just warming up now. <clears throat> just do a bit of stretching, static stretching. Obviously once Pisces finishes warming up the rest of the guys, I do like a whole big warm up, which you'll see, but this is just some feel good warm up just to kind of get the old body moving a little bit. I mean, I remember speaking to Ruffy when, he, when, like, obviously just randomly when he was here, and he described as getting kicked, and exact, exact same, same sensation as I thought I got kicked in the back of my leg. Turned around, and there was no one there, but I reckon I knew, I knew straight away because it was a, me a mechanism that I've done so many times as a forward, just lean back and push off, but it just went nowhere. It was like a, that's exactly what it sounded like. But yeah, it was the, the, the two weeks after is probably the hardest part I reckon it was. Like, couldn't really move, had to elevate it 20 hours a day. Um, like I said, lucky I had a, had a Mrs. Lily, she looked after me and um, without, uh, without, without having, like living with someone, I don't know how people would go through that kind of injury without having someone by their side. Um, so yeah, I was, I was very fortunate to have someone to look after me. Crazy, crazy experience. Like, yeah, wouldn't wish that on anyone there, doing Achilles. What do you, what do you want to achieve in 24? Uh, what I want to achieve, obviously I want to play as many games as I can. Personal goals play 10 games. Chad, you had a time on the side, I was watching a bit of match to him. Has anyone stood out to you? Standing out. Um, geez, that's tough. I reckon all our forwards have been really good. Watto's been, and Ginnivan have both been pretty exciting. Yeah. And Mori, I think some of the small forwards have um, yeah, really made some good headways. I think we're going to be, look pretty dangerous down there. Um, Gunners, the old dog's looking pretty good, actually. Gunners looking pretty nice. Um, trying to think from the... Yeah, Jai Newcomb's been probably the standout, I reckon, as a midfielder. Uh, really breaking through breaking through the lines, getting out of stoppages. A couple of the young boys have made some improvements as well. Like, Wardy's looking really nice. Another one that... <coughs> um, has been good as Mus. He's got some... Uh, Mus, no, he's got some secret bunnies I call them. So he's a, he's a small fella, but he's got hops. I didn't know he had hops until he came here. So he's, ta he's taken a couple marks, which I didn't think was in his game, but. Uh, um, <coughs> oh, the midfielders award. Um, <laughs> no, nah, I reckon, yeah, probably one of the midfielders. I reckon Jai Newcomb, I think he's probably deserved. <laughs> if not, Sis, if, it's just uh, be one of those two. How are we going, going all right? Yeah, good, yourself? Hey, you can see out of that yeah, that's a good uh, and Daisy's in it. Hey? And Daisy's in it, unfortunately. Yeah, no. All right. How's it feeling? No, it's feeling good. Feeling pretty normal. Run on yeah, I'm running. Been running for probably two months now. Oh, geez, that's good. Yeah, so getting it. Geez, feels much nicer kicking in a boot. Slappy. Oh, can you, can you just get a bit of vision of butts? Just come from this angle if you can. <laughs> She's got his wisdom teeth out, so. 
Oh, that's you, butts. Clutch! Oh! Just over that last spell, I believe. So we didn't get up there, right? Then we just lean into it. Progressing forward, see, so I'm actually looking at it. Flipping them all, mate. I wasn't catering for big foot. I haven't catered for 200 centimetres. <laughs> Have we got a. You've got two, eh? No. Yeah, no. Is this stopwatch just for records or does he need certain numbers he has to hit? Yeah, so uh, at the moment what we're doing is this sort of 90 metre rep. So you build up for 30 metres, he'll hold for 30 metres at a certain intensity. And then he's got a 30 metre sort of period to decelerate with the jog back. The, the run pattern we're trying to encourage, we sort of over exaggerating here. So getting him to kind of overemphasize some of the, uh, the technical things we've been working on. Just in a position at the moment where we can invest a lot of time into uh, yeah, more, more the technical side of how he, how he moves and specifically trying to condition his calves and Achilles tendon. So we're getting, getting yeah, nice, nice sort of horizontal. Yeah. And that's about creating these big shapes. That's a good you know, shape so there. It's probably the next one that matters, though. Yeah, but what's really good about this, just first up, see how your, your movement then is back and down, which is great. Like, so what we're trying yeah. to avoid is that that leg, the lower part of the leg, just keeps floating out. Yeah. So what's one part of main training that you don't miss? Ah, <sighs> oh, pretty easy, the, the running afterwards. Um, but obviously there's a lot that you do miss. All the competitive stuff, they had match play on Wednesday which um, obviously it's a shame not to be part of, but um, yeah, you don't miss the running, that's for sure. Even though that's what you're doing now? Yeah, but some of the running these boys are doing are pretty, pretty full on. I'll get there, I'll get there. The earlier weeks and months were, were fairly challenging. Um, obviously the injury happened right at the back end of the season, there's a couple of games left. So a lot of the groundwork, um, you know, the, the strength side of this, well before he's in a position to run um, was done in that sort of off-season period so when all the other guys are off on, uh, on trips away and that type of thing Chad was really committed to you know to putting the work in so that he could as we get to this phase you know he's in a really good spot so whilst it was challenging he was in unbelievable spirits the whole time and he, he fronted up got your radar bang on sort of sitting comfortably right on that sort of five second mark here so you'll be accumulating uh, a little bit of high speed with each rep which is perfect is there a point of pride in being able to see these guys return to AFL footy? Yeah, oh, it's definitely the, um, the highlight of the job, really. Like, it's, um, you know, there's always a, an element of some, um, you know, some nervousness when they get back, but you, you also got a lot of confidence in what's gone before it. So, um, <clears throat> you know, in this, in this case, for example, you know, we've been working away for months, really. So when it is that he's back, ready to play, you know, it'll be exciting for him and you certainly, yeah, I'll get a, get a huge kick out of um, watching them play and we've got, you know, input from, from our sports docs and physios and dietitian and um, sports psych, like it's really a team effort. And then as they obviously get back closer to playing, you know, a lot of input from coaches and they work really closely with their mentor coach and line coach um, so that overall we get a, we get a really good outcome. A few small forwards have joined since your injury. Um, how do you see yourself sliding into this side and I guess who's impressed you? Uh, out of the smalls, yeah. I mean, well, what I pick five, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Not, not too many uh, yeah, small forwards who get picked in the top five. So he's obviously got a lot of talent. He's impressed straight away. And Ginevan obviously has some experience played in the grand final. Uh, obviously proved that he can kick goals as well. So I think there's some great pickups and a good age in terms of they're still young, got plenty of life. Uh, career, career life in him. So, um, no, super excited. But in terms of me fitting in, I think first I've got to get back to training and I've been full that far ahead. I'm just trying to help these guys as much as I can. Uh, like, we got Punky as well to help these guys. They've got some great mentors, Gunston, some absolute players that have played a lot of games, so and obviously played in premierships as well. So, these guys are going to even more, like, more is dominating this preseason, like always. So, 
got some absolute stars up there and hopefully kick some more goals and win some more games. Well, it is, it's well, when's so, the, so, when's so, it technically, when's the cut off? Well, your first run, uh, four weeks ago, so no, well, I'll just, yeah, four weeks ago. What's, what's the session that defines it conditioning? Uh, when you're buckled over against the fence. So two, se- <laughs> so two sessions ago. <laughs> so tomorrow, mate. So yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so today we particularly another session. Uh, it's probably like the first session with in boots. So we ran a couple of sets um, with a big transition, obviously coming from runners to boots. So we ticked that off. Um, <coughs> from now, it's kind of through the int- introduction running phase. Now we're into, I suppose, the conditioning phase. So that's kind of like getting the hamstrings, the calves ready to be able to perform. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, everything's going well and um, we'll keep you tuned on when uh, we get to the next phase.